Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, I'm playing for you, series B's I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items, eat stuff, I drink stuff, then folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I got a cool shirt and I get to review sub sandwich. I got it fucking made. Well, we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and we're going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to around about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, as I just alluded to, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? What happens to me? My brand spanking new, boom, scream at the sky shirt. I love that. It's such a cool graphic. Um, and if you were unfamiliar with the band, Scream at the Sky, they're relatively new-ish, ish, ish. -ish. Um, they're a band out of Texas that I only somewhat recently became aware of. I actually, I know them mostly from their bassist, a guy named Jeremiah, who I had known from a previous band that he was in, is in, was in, I don't know what his other band is doing these days, but he went over there and he hit me up and he was like, hey dude, you know, you like good music. I'm playing with this awesome band right now. I think you might dig it. And I did. Like, I really, really, really liked what they were doing. Um, you know, it had some some elements that were almost a little bit throwback to kind of like the new metal days and stuff like that, you know, which I personally dig. And I really like what they do. Like, I love their songs. They have a lot of them that are very positive. They also have ones that, you know, deal with heavier issues and stuff. There's one that deals with, like, anxiety and, you know, hard that, you know, can be... Uh, difficult to push through, and I personally appreciate that as I deal with a little bit of social anxiety myself. I think they're really awesome. I got to see them perform live literally just a couple nights ago. I got some videos from those performances that are on this channel, just in case maybe you want to check their stuff out. If nothing else, I'd be happy to point you in their direction. They are a very cool band. But anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Why is it a sub sandwich? Because boom, I went out to Jimmy John's. And if... You watch my channel for long enough, you know what's coming next. Because this is a sub sandwich review, I have to preface it with three things. And yes, I said preface and not preface. I know that's technically incorrect. I know that's just me being a doofy American, but I don't care. Preface just sounds douchey to me. I don't know. But anyway, let's get to those three things. First thing, for over two years now, I've been going on sub sandwich adventures. What that means is I've been going out to basically every place that sells sub sandwiches, whether it's chain locations, delis, Walmarts, etc. I've been trying out sub sandwiches, I've been reviewing them, and I've been posting them to my YouTube channel. Which brings me to number two. Number two is that not only have I been posting them just to my YouTube channel, I've also been going over there and come, or been posting them to a specific playlist called Subs for Subs. That playlist is just my sub sandwich review, so if you enjoy my sub sandwich reviews, first of all, thank you very much. Second of all, they're all on there. At the time I'm doing this, I have over 100 sub sandwich reviews, and that brings us to number three, because let's say that's not enough sub sandwich review and goodness for you. It's possible. All you have to do is wait until Sunday. Why? Because Sunday is sub day. Sunday is the day when I go over there and I upload my sub sandwich reviews. Typically, you're going to get at least two. I've had a couple times where I had to post just one because backlog issues or, you know, whatever. Um... But you are going to get some sub sandwich goodness. That's that's my thing. I've stuck with it ever since I came up with it. But let's get to the Jimmy John sandwich. Um, this is, which one is this? Because I got two. This is the number eight, the Billy Club, which I do love the name. I'm not going to lie. Consists of roast beef, ham, provolone, and yellow mustard. That seems pretty standard, but it also sounds like it could be delicious. Let's give it a go. And if you watch my sub sandwich reviews, you know that, like, uh, when it comes to Jimmy John's, I'm a little bit here or there with them, you know? Like, I don't hate them, but, yeah. All right, so, it looks like... I wish they would have cut it, but oh well. It looks like... Can we get a thing for the thing? It looks like this. Ha 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 It's not a bad-looking sub. Again, I do wish they would have cut it, but, meh. Nah. Anyway, let's give it a go. See how it is. Is it supposed to have onions? Or was it supposed to have tomatoes? Yeah, eh, whatever. And lettuce. Those are probably just like the standard things that come with it, and I just didn't think about. Okay. 
That's not bad. Not gonna lie, it's a little light on the protein. I love roast beef. So anytime you can put more roast beef in a sandwich, I'm always for it. Um. There's a decent amount of filler here with the lettuce and stuff, but still tastes pretty good. One thing I will say that I've come around to a little bit when it comes to Jimmy John's and their sandwiches is their bread. Typically, I've been very critical of it, and while I don't think that it's great sub sandwich bread, I'm not as harsh on it. I used to be very, like, just anti Jimmy John's bread, but. I do think there's a certain appeal to it. If nothing else, they managed to do a great job of, like, standardizing it. Because pretty much every time I've had Jimmy John's, the bread has been extremely consistent. There's no frills. And again, I don't think it's the best example of proper sub-bread. But, for consistency's sake, and it's not bad bread. It's just not ideal sub-bread. But it's pretty good. Um... I mean, it's a fairly basic sub overall, but there's not only nothing wrong with that, there's a lot of good to be said about that, especially for a place like Jimmy John's where I do tend to rank them pretty low in terms of like chain locations and stuff. Above Subway, but not by a shitload. So simple subs tend to work well for them in my opinion. The protein itself, even though I think there should be more, does taste good. The roast beef doesn't have, like, a weird taste or anything to it. It works well with the ham. You know, you get those kind of mixes. You know, the ham is maybe a little bit saltier. The roast beef is a little bit more savory. I'm personally down with that. And then just all the other flavors that are there work. I actually really like the addition of the yellow mustard. I typically am not a big yellow mustard person, but... You put it on a sub sandwich, you let it do its thing, especially with the other stuff, you know, with the, the lettuce, the tomato. Tomato tastes really nice, very fresh. You know what? I mean, yeah, again, it's a very much a no frill sub. It didn't throw anything at me that surprised me, but it's not a bad sub. And like, it is tasty enough, you know, and again, there's something to be said for that. Um, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I think I was sure, and yeah, why not? So for me, when it comes to Jimmy John's, it really does sort of... I always kind of have to say the same thing to a certain extent, which is that Jimmy John's is never going to be my preferred sub-sandwich place. They're okay, and I have improved with them over time as far as how I consider them. And I think part of that is because... I've just sort of, I've been trying to aim for things that I think they would work a little bit better with. And again, I think for simple subs, I think they do a good job. I don't think they're as fulfilling as a proper, like, deli or even a place like, say, like Jersey Mike's um, or like Penn Station. You know, they're a fast food sub spot. And I personally don't think that they have, like, the, the same level of prominence as some of, again, like some of the ones that I mentioned. But... I don't think they're horrible by any means. Like, this is a good enough sub. It's like a solid C+. Plus. It's a little bit better than average. Could be a little bit more filling, but the flavors are there, and it's simple, and it, it just works, you know? It's nothing that's going to go over there and brighten your day, but it's not going to go over there and shit on your sandwich either. So, for me, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, if I was going to a Jimmy John's and just because, which I probably wouldn't do, but if I was, sure, I'd maybe get this one again. If nothing else, I like the name. Um, and if I'm recommending it, you know, at the end of the day, I'm very fortunate. I have a lot of great sub sandwich places around me. Not everybody has that option, though. And with that being the case, if Jimmy John's is there and that's what you're digging, this is a perfectly fine sub from them. I would say out of the subs that I've had from them, this is one of the better ones that I've had. Again, I think with them, keeping it simple works best. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Depend on rest of your year, folks. Go with there. This was a truly 
Billy Club Tastic rest of your life because who doesn't love a good old rousing, just you know, big a you know bit of a scrum, right? Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're gonna do, folks. You're gonna try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important that we go over there whenever possible. <sighs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, like maybe you love Jimmy John's. Maybe it is your favorite place in the entire world, and you're just like, Brandon, you're always slandering Jimmy John's, blah, blah, blah. First of all, I wouldn't go as far as Sam slandering them. I've never, like, flat out been like, Jimmy John's is terrible, and they're the cause of all that's evil in the world. That Like, that would be ridiculous and complete hyperbole, and, like, I don't want them to sue me or anything. Um... You know, but ultimately, whatever your personal opinions for Jimmy John's is or isn't, you know, I hope that you enjoy it. And if you have any personal recommendations, hell, maybe some secret menu items that I'm not aware of, hit me up in the comments. I genuinely love to hear about it. Like, I'm all for giving places multiple opportunities. Anyway, bye.